Bill. Oh, sorry. I didn't see you there. On today's episode, we're going to be talking about radiation. Specifically, the health and safety aspects of radiation. If you'll follow me up here, we'll see what's in store. Bill Nye the Science Guy. Bill Nye. Science rules. Inertia is a property of matter. Now, you're probably wondering, what exactly is radiation? What's that? Well, in technical terms, radiation is just anything that emits, or anything that radiates energy. Mm -hmm. But when people talk of radiation in a specific nuclear sense, what they normally mean is ionizing radiation. Now, ionizing radiation comes in three different types. Mm -hmm. Alpha, beta, and gamma radiation. Now, what ionization means is that an electron is removed or added to an atom, giving it charge. Here we see an alpha particle, made of protons and neutrons, removing an electron from its outer shell. Here we see a gamma ray, which is just electromagnetic radiation, also known as light, removing an electron. You can see how much faster the gamma ray is in comparison to the alpha radiation. There's also a, no a special type of radiation, called neutron radiation, that is in itself not ionizing, but can turn other elements radioactive, as shown here. There's also beta radiation, which is made of electrons. Beta radiation is comparably fast to gamma radiation, but has a charge, so it's less penetrating. So then once radiation passes through the human body, and has ionized some of the atoms inside of it, what happens is the ionized atoms inside of the cells will start damaging the DNA. Now if you'll remember, DNA is completely critical to the normal functioning of your cells, so having damaged DNA is not good at all. So once it's damaged the DNA, usually one of three things will happen. Mm -hmm. Now the first possible outcome is the best one. It's that the DNA repairs itself correctly, and the cell continues living as normal. This is obviously a very good thing. But what generally happens is the second outcome, which is the DNA can't repair itself, the cell is too damaged, and it dies. Mm -hmm. Now this is bad, but if you remember correctly, the human body constantly has cell dying. As a matter of fact, in your body right now, you've probably got thousands of cells dying this instant. It's not a big deal. But if this happens too much, then what can end up happening is massive cell death, which is also called acute radiation syndrome when it's caused by radiation. This is obviously not a good thing, and can, as a matter of fact, even result in death, but we'll go a bit more into that a bit later. Now, the third outcome, on the other hand, is a little more complex. This one, it's when the DNA repairs itself incorrectly, and sometimes that just results in the cell dying bitterly, sometimes it just results in absolutely nothing. The DNA has got plenty of useless information that it can do without. But then it can also result in complications, such as cancer, for example, which is definitely not good. So that's why t people tend to think that radiation can cause cancer, because it increases the rate of cell mutations, which increases the chance of cancer. Did you know that you can get radiation from just eating a banana, or taking a plane ride, or living in a cement or brick house for more than a year? or even just sleeping next to someone. Because of the dangers of nuclear radiation, every single nuclear power plant is equipped with a number of safety features to prevent any nuclear accidents. The two most important safety features are the uh, emergency cooling system and the containment What's system. That? A containment system is just a large concrete cylinder that contains the reactor. It's put in place so that if any abnormality in the reactor is detected, then no radiation will be able to escape from it. Mm -hmm. Now, an emergency cooling system is just something to put in place to cool the reactor after it's been shut down. Because once the reactor is shut down, the uh, cool fuel rods don't immediately stop reacting. They continue going for a little bit, and you don't want them to heat up and melt, causing a meltdown. So an emergency cooling system is in place to stop that. This program is brought to you by...
Bad X-Ray, the people you can trust. Bad X-Ray, always at your service. And we now bring you back to the Ray family. Kids, it's time for homework. Hi, Grandpa Ray. Where's your brother, Ralph Ray? Oh, he's out charging electrons, if you know what I mean. Wait, I think I hear him now. My bad, I was just ionizing some cells. Where's the water ray? I've been here the entire time! Oh. <clears throat> oh, well, uh, good, yes. Now that you're here, I suppose it's time to tell you you're not part of the Ray family. You're adopted! That was an interesting turn of events. I hope you'll tune in next time to Bill Nye.